Which revolutionary accidentally attacked friendly Native Americans while he was commander of Fort Pitt? Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we'll be discussing Brigadier General Edward Hand. Now Edward Hand was an Irishman who studied medicine and after graduating university decided to join the British Army. As such, he was made a surgeon and he was sent over to Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania, where he stayed in Fort Pitt for quite a while. Now, in 1774, he decided to retire from the army and move to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Obviously, he really liked it in Pennsylvania. Uh, he started a medical practice, but soon the Revolutionary War broke out, and Hand decided to join up with the revolutionaries. Having a background in the military meant he was appointed, uh, commissioned as a colonel. So he joins and he starts fighting, blah, 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 blah. Time goes on, and eventually he is actually appointed as commander of Fort Pitt. Now... While he's there, he is given the promotion from Colonel to Brigadier General, and he is, unfortunately, decides to attack some Native Americans. Now, Fort Pitt was important because, although there were British attacking there also, uh, many of the Native American tribes in the area were hostile to the colonists in their rebellion. However, the Lenape tribe, also known as the Delaware, were friendly to the native to the americans actually they were in negotiations and almost at a point considered as a 14th colony but that is a different story entirely um but suffice to say the lenape were very friendly to the americans and edward hand accidentally attacked them now they didn't actually turn on the Americans, it was, you know, seen to be an accident, but there were other neutral tribes in the area who saw this and were like, why are you attacking your friends, and decided to not be so neutral anymore, and join with the British. This was not great, and everyone knew it, so uh, Hand was taken out of the position of commander of Fort Pitt, he was still a brigadier general, and he was actually appointed as adjutant general of the Continental Army, and as a Juden General, it's essentially an administrative position, and he oversaw the biz the business of running an army, uh, and he was here for several years, including uh, the Battle of Yorktown. So he oversaw really the operation of the army from a business standpoint all the way through the end of the war, and at which point, at when the war came to a conclusion, uh, while they were waiting for the peace treaty to be negotiated, he was brevet. Uh, given a brevet promotion to major general, which meant uh, essentially a brevet is an honorary title, um, but you hold the title officially, you just don't have the operational rank to make orders as a major general, but still, he did receive that honorable promotion. Uh, afterward, Hand would actually go out and be an important person in Pennsylvania state government. He went and served in the Co Continental Congress briefly, and he would serve in the state assembly. Furthermore, he was elected as a pr inaugural, an inaugural presidential elector, which meant he had the honor of being one of the first people to actually vote for President George Washington. So that's it on Edward Hand today. Keep it nice and short, nothing too fancy. Uh, very interesting person, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Please hit like if you liked it, and definitely subscribe if you're new here. I put out videos like this five days a week, and we have a fun live one on Saturday, so please come join us. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with another founder tomorrow.